He's getting closer. Slow progress for Trey Turner, who said earlier today he hasn't been cleared by Nationals trainers just yet to start hitting, but he has gotten clearance to slowly ramp things up in terms of throwing and working his way back into baseball shape. And Trey threw from 60 to 70 feet, he said yesterday, then today. He was out on the field making full throws from his shortstop position over to first base. Not really letting it go at full force. Still going to kind of ramp things up a little bit, but was getting the ball over there and looked pretty darn good while doing it. Earlier on today, Trey talking about this entire rehab process. He's been eager to go, and he said the trainers have kind of had to hold him back a little bit. They limit me a lot more than I think I should be in the sense, you know, I feel like I, I know my body, I know it hurts. You know, so yesterday um, I threw it you know, 60, 75 feet, whatever it was, but I know in my mind I can throw the ball probably a lot farther and, and harder, and I'm sure that maybe if I threw 100%, you might, wouldn't feel that great, but uh, I know I could have thrown harder than I did yesterday. So in the sense, you know, I feel like I'm learning my body and the injury, and um, I know what hurts and know what doesn't hurt, and I've tried to vocalize that as to them as much as I can. But they also, um, you know, they are a lot forward thinking than I am. So, you know, they don't want me throwing a lot because my arm's not in shape like it was before. So, and stuff that I don't really think about, and you know, they have the expertise on. So, um, a little bit of both. You know, I'm trying to push it a little bit, but also uh, be smart about. It. I think the hardest thing for me to do is going to be hitting, um, throwing. You know, I've been working on the weight room pushing on it, pulling on it, and, you know, none of that bothers me. So I think, you know, the rotation maybe of the hitting would probably be the hardest thing. But I haven't haven't really done that yet either, so I, I don't know. Jason was saying yesterday that he feels kind of fortunate in a sense with his injury and that he'll be able to get back, have a, you know, a handful of weeks, and then come October, hopefully be ready to go. Have you had that same type of thought? You know, you don't want to be hurt, but you'll have an opportunity now to, to get some games under your belt before the games that matter most. Yeah, that's huge. You know, I want to I wanna get back early enough for, for that, you know, I want to um, play 30 games, 40 games, whatever it is, to um, just get that timing back. And, you know, I have no say in that. It's whenever I, my body, you know, lets me. But, you know, if it's less, then i got to get, you know, ready faster. But uh, just to be back in enough time to get ready for, you know, the games that matter is, would be huge. Um, and, you know, you don't want to be thrown in there like, you know, Schwarber did last year, which was a little crazy. But, you know, I ended up working out for them. If you could have more games, then, um, you know, the better, I think. So still about six and a half weeks or so for Trey Turner to get back and have some regular season games that he can get under his belt. There was one throw that he made, Johnny, out on the field earlier today. We saw from Trey when he was healthy that patented jump throw. He let one of those go, got the ball across the diamond, and all the coaches, everyone behind the cage, let out cheers. One coach yelled, there he is. So we're starting to see Trey back in form a little bit. Still, you know, not swinging, a little bit of a ways to go, but getting back towards being the Trey Turner that we saw so many months earlier earlier on this season.